working on another clock here. This is a ship's clock. It's a, a Hermel movement. It's got a Howard Miller branding on it, but it's in an air guide case. It had a uh, little click that keeps the, the spring wound up. It had flipped over. You see this little spring here. This little click is supposed to, click lever is supposed to be on the is on this side of it. It was on the other side. I've seen this happen once before. I don't know how it physically happens without something breaking but everything is fine just had to take the take the spring barrel out and uh, flip the spring the clip back over and uh, it's working fine needed a lot of cleaning and oiling the this clock was used on a submarine and so it wouldn't chime the arm and these arms were all bent and it took quite a bit of trial and error to get them bent back in the proper position so it will work now you can see the mechanism here so that's the half hour Notice this little catch here. The uh, It's got a normal <clears throat> chime movement in there, but it's got this extra little catch that's... So on the half hour, it's an odd number of chimes. Watch, I'll do it at the top of the hour here. Watch that little click, it dropped down. That was uh, six bells for, it does six bells at, it's at 12, 4, and 8 o'clock. Adds one bell for each half hour. So when you're on your four hour watch on a ship, <clears throat> you're, uh, you can tell when your watch is going to be over. Here, we'll do the half hour again. See it caught it there. This is what the chime looks like inside the case. Alright, hammer is adjusted. Let's see if I can get it to trigger here. Parts of the hinge were also missing, so I built a few little pieces of brass with tiny nut screws and nuts on there. So, it's not pretty, but it works. <laughs> 